is Sunday and Shelby's watching Shrek instead of church. <laughs> Church is not on yet. Church is not on yet, but I think we're gonna watch it today and not go to church because we have a lot going on. We could make it happen, but tomorrow Muscle Tech is coming in town and we have a lot to do here at the house to get ready for them. They're coming to film me tomorrow, which is Monday and Tuesday, uh, for a Why I Live campaign. So they're filming kind of how I got started in the industry and what I'm doing right now and how I live my day-to-day -day life. So this morning I got up, did 45 minutes of the step mill and abs, did not record it because all I did was just walk up on a treadmill, keep my heart consistent for 45 minutes and then just did like six different exercises for abs. And then later on today, gonna be going and working out. Uh, right now, we are about to eat breakfast and let me show you what I'm having. So today's a little bit different because I'm having carbs. Most of the time, 90% of the time, I'm, I do not have carbs. In the morning, Gainer's over here attacking his toy. We got him a new toy yesterday and look at this thing. It is already destroyed. Uh, it's, what is that? It, well, it used to be a bird. It used to be a bird, but now it is literally just threads. So anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, breakfast. I normally have uh, more fats for breakfast and then save my carbs for later on, but I've not had carbs or high amounts of carbs for literally a week because last week I had a gigantic pizza and I'll show you right here up on the screen. Yes, me and Shelby ate that whole entire pizza. It was delicious. I want to have the pizza again or another pizza this Tuesday after all the shoots because it was so good. Uh, but I'm having carbs for the first time in just about a week other than like vegetable carbs. So no more than like 50 carbs a day for this past week and I've been feeling horrible, honestly, just terrible. So let me show you. We made this last night. This is overnight oats. So I have a cup of oats uh, mixed with a cup and a half of almond milk, uh, protein powder, some Muscle Tech protein powder, cinnamon, uh, stevia, and I think that is it. And chi chai seeds? Chia seeds. Chia seeds. And then a black coffee here. Right now it is 9.44, so breakfast is pretty late. And look around, the house is a disaster because we got a lot to clean up. I'm just showing them. So we're gonna sit here, enjoy this, and then get the day started. Well, that was delicious. It wasn't enough though. I'm always so hungry right now when dieting. Uh, nothing fills me up. Oh man, uh, if you watch my Instagram story, you know I've been trying to get off this tan for a few days. So it's just everywhere, it's just coming off. Look in between my arm right there. My chest even has it. It's not terrible right now. Yesterday before I sat in the bathtub last night for about 20 to 30 minutes scrubbing myself trying to get this tan off uh, because I have to get a new one tonight for the photo shoots. Shelby's gonna show you the back, the back of my arm. Yes, the back of your arm is ridiculous. But yeah, <laughs> so it is just spotty <laughs> big time. I still got to later on today I'm gonna get her to actually kind of scrub wherever I can't because like my neck and stuff is still really bad But the rest of me is decent for what it was because if you watch my Instagram stories Like I said, you can tell it was just it, it's it's been bad for I would say about half a week now uh, So I'm gonna get a new one tonight to look good for the photo shoots uh, tomorrow and Tuesday Oh, and I was wanting to show you something. Yesterday I got my bodybuild.com order in and check it out. So I ordered the NitroTech Lucky Marshmallow. I've been seeing some photos of people posting and it had marshmallows all inside the protein. I've never had it before. So I ordered it from bodybuild.com. Check it out. They actually really do have marshmallows in this thing. I can't unscrew it, hang on. Okay, check it out. Look inside there. There's real Lucky Charms in the protein. I have never in my life even heard of having Lucky Charms in protein powder. So later on today, I'm gonna try it out. I've not had it yet because I've not actually worked out and had the protein yet. So after my workout today, I'm gonna have that and check it out. Yours truly is in the bodybuilding.com box. I opened the box and there I am just on the top of it. So cool. So we just got done watching uh, church on the TV and we've been cleaning up while we watch church. Uh, but before we watched church, we cleaned up. So the whole house is pretty much relatively done. Uh, we still have like detail work, so we gotta like clean the cabinets, dust everywhere. I swept the floors, we cleaned up all my uh, supplements that we had everywhere because I've been ordering tons of supplements and they've been laying out all over the place. But for the most part, we got most of the stuff done. Now it's just like the tedious stuff that you know you really hate to do. I'm about to have a Nitro Tech 
protein bar before going to the gym. Today is gonna either be shoulders or a full body circuit. I'm not sure which. The reason why I do a whole body circuit is because I'm sore all over and when you do the whole body circuits, it's mainly just to burn calories and not really to like kill your muscles because I'm gonna do like 20 reps or something. But I'm kind of feeling like doing a shoulder workout because I think my shoulders aren't too sore. The reason why everything's really sore right now is because I work uh, legs at New Fit, so my legs are killing me. I worked those Thursday and I've not worked legs at New Fit in I guess a month and so I am just destroyed. My legs are destroyed and then uh, I hurt my back. A lot of y'all know about my back issues, having some back problems, and so when I'm not able to work back, I will work my shoulders more or my chest and arms, and so those muscle groups are more sore. So that being said, I think today is just gonna be a shoulder day. We will see, just pump it out and then get back and clean some more before uh, we sit down and kind of relax tonight, and then I got my tan at 8.30 tonight. Okay. Ate my protein bar, I was about to say protein shake. Uh, and then I'm about to take my pre-workout here. Shelby is not going to the gym with me today, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to record. Today is a great day re to record because it's a uh, Sunday and no one is at the gym on a Sunday, but she has to go to the store and stuff, get groceries, and then get a couple of things like clean the house, like uh, dusting stuff. We do not own... Uh, we don't own dusting stuff. So when we dust, we just use like a paper towel with water. So we actually got to get some dusting stuff to like, you know, really dust. <laughs> uh, I'm taking pre-workout, the Muscle Tech. This is the Shatter Ripped Revolution. This is like aminos with caffeine in it. So I'm gonna take a scoop of that, which is like 250 milligrams of caffeine. And now we're gonna head to the gym. Well, what is going on everyone? It has been a while since I put out a video. This has been the longest I have not put out a video in I would say about two years. So it's been two weeks and I have to apologize for not getting more videos out to you guys. But honestly, I've been traveling so much that I've not been able to edit. Uh, I have been to China, been to Boise, Idaho, I think twice uh, since I've talked to y'all last. So, you know, when I travel and stuff, it's very hard for me to actually sit down and get time to edit now i can vlog all day long but editing is a different story so i hope you enjoy uh new videos coming out soon so let's jump straight into the shoulder workout so as you saw i was doing a dumbbell shoulder press now the difference is this is a little bit different because i had to go super light i was doing normal seated dumbbell presses military presses and i would go for around eight reps now after hitting eight reps I would go underhand grip and put the dumbbells together and try to push out another eight to 10 reps. That was super hard. I had to go extremely lightweight on that. I think it ended up on the 50 pound dumbbells and normally with military press for 10 reps, you know, I can do the 110 pound dumbbells. So after uh, doing five sets of those presses, did uh, dumbbell side raises, did uh, five sets of around 12 to 15 reps, just going to complete failure on every single one of those side raises. After that, went into this superset. Really enjoy the superset using plates instead of dumbbells. Uh, I feel that uh, using plates, uh, it actually uh, distributes the weight a little bit differently. So if you haven't tried this, give these a shot. So I'm supersetting between uh, plate front raises uh, into upright rows to a little bit different because it's not a straight upright row. You know, upright rows, you just bring your elbows you try to get your elbows up higher than your hands. Now this, I'm going a little bit more in front of me, so it's still kind of like a front raise. Uh, so it's not a complete upright row. And when I turn to the side in a second, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm going for around 12 reps of uh, each of these. So 12 reps front raise, 12 reps upright row. And then when I hit failure with both arms, I will immediately go into single arm just to com just to uh, further deplete my muscles and go to complete failure. I think this is actually the last set I do on here. And when I hit failure on this set, so I did five sets. So on the fifth set, I actually did a drop set. So I go to complete failure in here and then grab the 10 pound plates and then do the exact same thing until I hit failure. So the goal of this workout is, is just to 
uh, go to failure at every single exercise. I know a lot of uh, people have been talking about, I've been seeing it all over YouTube and articles and stuff about, uh, you know, going to failure is not good. And I'm doing more research myself on this matter because I've always trained to failure. I've trained to failure ever since I got started in uh, fitness. And I've seen major and great results, as you can t see. Uh, I mean, some of y'all not gonna believe me, but I will tell you over and over again, I'm 100% natural. And for me to go to failure in pretty much every single uh, exercise and every single workout, I do that. I think your body adapts, but a lot of research and stuff's been coming out saying you should go like maybe five reps or two reps uh, uh, before you you know, hit failure. So you don't need to go to complete failure failure because your body is uh, getting taxed too much. So I don't know how much of that is true. Like I said, uh, I'm going to do more research on it and then uh, I'll let y'all know if I decide if I want to start doing that or not. Uh, like I said, I've just been doing it for so many years and I've seen great results going to complete failure on every single uh, workout that I don't see why I would change. I mean, there might be, the reason why I'm thinking about changing and doing that is because I want to do what is optimal. I want to do what's best. And here I am just flexing a little bit because uh, I had carbs this day, so I feel a little bit more full and pumped. Uh, but, you know, I will let y'all know if I decide to uh, kind of swap over. I'm going to have to wrap my head around it because I've tried it the last couple of days actually going just shy of failure. And let me tell you, it is different. I don't know how I like it just because I don't know where uh, two reps shy of failure is because I'm so used to going to complete failure. Uh, so after doing uh, those plate front raises and upright rows, went into behind the head press. Now, guys, I can't tell you you enough when you do behind the head press make sure you don't go past your ears too many too many people go all the way down and they end up hurting their shoulders so just go to your ear and then straight back up so I did five sets of these and pyramided up in weights so I started off I think with like uh, just the 45s on each side then went with the 10s on this set and then ended up on, I think, the 25s on each side. So I went for like 15 reps, 12 reps, 10 reps, and stuck around 10 reps until the fifth set. And on the fifth set, I did a drop set. So look at this. This is why I like uh, using Smith Machine is because you don't have to worry about getting locked underneath the Smith Machine. I went to failure and could not push that uh, weight up and I didn't have to have a spotter and when I hit failure I just locked it immediately uh, you know if I was using a barbell or something I would need a spotter to go to complete failure because it's either gonna get locked or stuck uh, so this on um, this is actually the last set the fifth set and this was the drop set so I just went to failure for those uh, 10 reps and then immediately dropped the weight and I had I think I dropped 25 pounds on each side and then went for another six to eight reps. And this was actually the last exercise. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Now I'm gonna have the whole workout written down below. So just go down there, take a screenshot of it, give this workout a try and let me know how you enjoyed it. Just finished up that shoulder workout. It was a pretty good workout and it didn't last very long. It was only like an hour long. So yeah, uh, whoa, birds are everywhere. Kept the rest periods uh, about 60 seconds. So that's why it was so quick. Uh, and then did like 10 minutes of cardio at the end of the workout just to burn a little bit more calories. And then my back started hurting a little bit because for whatever reason, when I do cardio, it has been kind of like hurting my back. So anytime it starts hurting, I just get off the treadmill. So now headed home to take a protein shake and clean up, exfoliate again for I think the third time to get the rest of that old tan off because in about an hour and a half I go get my new tan. So first time trying the Lucky Charm or the Lucky Marshmallow Protein. We're gonna give it a try here on camera. Oh, I can't wait to try this. All these Lucky Charms in here. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna use one scoop. One scoop is 170 calories. Let's see how much protein. 
30 grams of protein. Wow, that's a lot of protein per scoop. So in there, here we go. Oh my gosh, check that out. Focus, focus, look at all those marshmallows. Oh, so I'm not gonna have it like a regular protein shake where you just mix it with water. I just make uh, my protein shakes into like a pudding. So I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk. Just make it into a little pudding, not much liquid. Because if I put too much, then it will turn into like just a regular protein shake. I like to eat my protein, so that's why. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, so take a look at that. It just, oh man, it smells good. Hmm. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I'm not kidding. Oh, the crunch of the marshmallows. Mm. Oh, that's excellent. Oh my gosh. Yeah, guys. Highly recommend this protein powder. Mmm. Dinner time. So after about an hour after having my protein shake, Shelby made it back. She went out shopping for decorations and stuff. And Lazy Susan's to uh, organize my supplements. It's all up in that cabinet. So I'm eating a salad tonight. It's just a big old salad with some chicken breast, almonds, and the Greek yogurt dressing. And then a Coke Zero, and that's gonna be dinner. And I gotta hurry up and eat this because I got about 40 minutes before I have to go get my spray tan. Oh my gosh, I'm rushing. So I ate so quickly, jumped in the shower, exfoliated as quickly as I could, and now I'm headed out to go get this tan on. Just got done tanning here. Got Jessica, she just got done tanning me. Her tan here is in Austin, and what is it called? Tan Kitty. Tan Kitty. So if you're in Austin area, you need to come see her. She's the best so far. I did it the last photo shoot for Bodybuilding.com. It turned out amazing. So I got some powder on right now, so it doesn't look great. But tomorrow it'll look but just it fine. Will. Yeah, but it will. Back in from getting the tan. Uh, we'll see what it turns out like tomorrow. But she did a different color because I don't know why, honestly. Uh, because the other one looked really good. I liked it. But she said this one is going to be more of a red tone. So, so she said it should look better under video because that's mainly what we're going to be doing here on this uh, shoot is going to be video. So we'll see tomorrow. I have to leave this on tonight, sleep in this. Uh, whole attire, long sleeves, long pants, and then wash it off tomorrow. Uh, look what Shelby did. So the supplement counter, or the supplement cabinet, is all complete. All the muscle tech stuff. Look at all this. This is literally uh, like half of what I have, or probably not. This is no, not even half. No, no. I have so much supplements, it's ridiculous, which is so awesome. All right, so this is the Lazy Susans that Shelby bought. Look at this thing. You can spin it around with all the supplements. We got the fat burners, or yeah, fat burners over here. No, that's... Okay, no, that's just regular the pills and stuff. And this one's like the fat burners and multivitamins and stuff. And then protein bars, cookies up there. And then we have more protein bars and cookies over here in this little uh, snack bar. <laughs> we have Gainer Snacks. We have my snacks, and then we have, uh, what is, just water, flavored waters. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much gonna be the night here. It is 9.40. Uh, we gotta do a few more things before we end the night, but uh, we're gonna sit down and watch a movie. Uh, we've watched, or we watched half of the movie last night. We didn't finish it because I was so tired. It was like 11 o'clock and I'm old, so I had to go to bed. But we're gonna finish that movie. It was pretty good. What was it called? I don't even know. It's a Netflix movie. It's a Netflix original movie. So yeah, I'll put it up on the screen. It's pretty good so far. We're halfway through it. So we're going to finish that out tonight. But I'm going to end the video here because tomorrow is going to be a whole separate video. I'm going to vlog the whole experience with Muscle Tech coming down and recording me and stuff. So that's going to be in a separate video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. All right, guys. Peace. Eric Wainwright, right. Eric Rain, <laughs> Eric Wayne. <laughs>